A special gift to mark a big milestone today, the Juravinsky Foundation announcing a $5.1 million donation to the Juravinsky Research Institute to mark the fifth anniversary of the Institute's founding. Manisa Donabalan joining us live in studio. Uh, tell us more about these funds. How are they going to be used, Manisa? Hey Matt, the funds will support research focusing on cancer care and brain health and incorporate elements of artificial intelligence, diagnostic imaging and biobanking. Since it began, the late Charles and Margaret Jurovinsky and their estate have invested $16.5 million in the Research Institute, supporting 25 research projects. Since the traditional gift for a fifth anniversary is wood, Hamilton Health Sciences, McMaster University and St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton have all marked the occasion by dedicating a tree at their respective sites in memory of Margaret and Charles. Earlier today, we spoke to someone from the Jurovinsky Research Institute and the Foundation about how the funds will be used. In the area of brain health, for example, there is a huge lack of understanding of uh, what it is that puts people at risk of developing diseases such as Alzheimer's or pre-senile dementia and vascular dementia and so forth. And there's a lot of focus and interest on whether there's a genetic component, whether there's an environmental component, how the genetics and environment interact with each other. And there are areas with, for which we have a lot of expertise here in Hamilton. Charlie intentionally he very intentionally wanted everybody to collaborate and he felt that this is that vehicle for everybody to sit down and to be able to do that and 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 it is working the way the process works is that uh, when there is a theme then there's a call out for the researchers from the entire city to come together so it'll take a couple of months for the researchers to put project proposals together and apply to be funded. Then it'll take a few weeks for the committee to decide which ones will be supported. But once that's complete, the money will start flowing through. Matt? 